We've been watching short-term Treasury yields. They've been elevated for over a month at this point. But if you're really looking at the close numbers, one-month T-bills now yielding 6.026%. That's the first time you've seen above 6% that's kind of held there steadily. The two-month is at 5.477%, three-month at 5.452%. I want to bring in Mark Cabana. He is the head of U.S. rate strategy at Bank of America Global Research. And uh, Mark, you ever seen anything like the yields that we've seen in the T-bill market recently? No, they're extremely dislocated at the front end. And that just reflects a lot of concern about the debt limit. Um, and it really reflects investors who are quite averse to owning anything that could potentially have a delayed payment that's associated with it. So how do you play this as an investor? Would you be betting that a deal gets done once a deal does get done or if one doesn't get done what do you, what what happens what's the fallout yeah well, the risks are very high um certainly the news flow out of dc is encouraging at the moment um and so i think that it's fair to have a modest degree of optimism that something will get done but unfortunately, if you're an investor and if you're trying to put money to work at the front end, you want to make sure that that investment is safe and that you will get your money back on time. And that is the big concern that we've seen at the front end. And that's why many investors have just proven to be very, very averse and not really wanting to own any of these potentially impacted Treasury securities. In many ways, they're hot potatoes if you are an institutional investor. And if you're an institutional investor, what you want to be able to tell your clients is that I don't have any exposure to a potential security that could have a delayed payment or a technical default that's associated with it. If you're a retail investor, it might be a little bit different. Um, but again, on the institutional investor side, uh, most investors don't want to have any exposure and they want to be able to tell their clients that they're safe because they don't own any of these potentially impacted dates. Okay, so your, your, your guess is that all of these people will get paid, but there is the potential for a slight delay in getting the payment, and that's why you see such elevated rates. How, how, again, how do you play this? What, what do you tell your clients to get into? Would there be anything in short-term treasuries you'd say, okay, this looks like a good deal? Yeah, well, what we've been telling our clients is really two things. Number one, if you want to put money to work, there are certain dates that we believe are relatively safe. Um, these are dates that are right after an expected large inflow into the U.S. government or that are right after the U.S. Treasury gets so-called accounting maneuvers or measures that allow them to have additional headroom. When are those dates? Uh, well, there's a on June 15th, a corporate tax payment date. So any Treasury security that has maturity right after that is reasonably safe. And then these additional headroom uh, measures that the U.S. Treasury receives are after June 30th. So really anything in the first half of July is reasonably safe in trusting that you can invest there and then get your money back. The other thing that we've been uh, flagging for investors is to also note that really once a deal gets done, there will be a very, very sharp surge in U.S. Treasury supply. And that supply surge is stems from the fact that the government's been holding back the amount of debt that it can issue and once a deal gets done, then the floodgates open. And that Which means mean what? Be trillion dollars of Treasury bill supply in roughly three months from June to August. And what you'll see is that you will see as the supply hits, rates go up, prices go down. And if you're an investor and you have liquidity that you can put to use, you might just want to hold back and wait for that supply to hit because you're probably going to see levels at the front end that come cheaper than uh, where they might be today, especially in the months of July and August.